Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install OBS. I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to go to the official side of OBS. Alright, there we go. It will actually be the first side right here. Now we have the choice between Windows, Mac and Linux. Uh, so obviously I have Windows, so I'm going to go for Windows here. Okay, so then you have an, a little overview here. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it starts downloading. So I'm just going to wait until it's done. It takes about a minute and uh, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so as you can see here, once it's done, you can go to the arrow right here and you can do show in folder, but it will probably be in your downloads. And you can also do open. And we're just going to do immediately open because it's uh, .exe, so it's the setup file. So when it opens, Windows probably asks you a window and you just say yes. Now, as you can see, this is the basic uh, setup question. So we're going to do next. Here you can also do next. Now the file destination is pretty important. I generally advise you to let the program, in this case OBS, choose you where it wants to download. It's generally in the disk C, in this case uh, disk C program files OBS. So if you place it somewhere else, it doesn't really matter that much, but sometimes OBS can start searching for a file if you place it somewhere else. So it can cause unnecessary problems. So you can do of course whatever you want, but I do advise to just let um, OBS, in this case, just choose where it wants to install. There we go, and then you have this. It's installing, doesn't take that much time. So now we're gonna do finish, but first of all, so just here, make sure that you close all of the uh, browser tabs here of OBS, because if I do finish right now, it will actually say that um, something of OBS is still running. So that I don't know why, it's just a website, so we're just gonna close all this. And as you can see, it did appear here, the um, desktop shortcut. So that's optional. And now you can just launch it. And as you can see here, we have OBS as we know it. So it actually remembered my settings, which is really nice. So if you go here, you have all of the basic settings, the output. As you can see right here, it's all the same for me. So that's all good for me. It's all set up. But if in your case, it isn't set up yet, um, you can always watch my most recent video on OBS. And that will show you an updated version of how to get the best settings for OBS. So definitely advise you to check it out. It's on my channel, the most recent OBS video, so that you can actually immediately set up uh, OBS and that you're ready to go. In any case, thanks you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.